Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, unfortunately, um, this video is delayed, unfortunately. Uh, I did, uh, or delayed in release. I did record this on September 22nd. Um, uh, the sad part is um, YouTube has blocked me because I was streaming and I was happened to be streaming the Giants 49ers game where I was discussing and talking about it. I'm putting it on me every now and then. I had to walk away for a bit, maybe a good 30 minutes or 10 minutes, sorry, 10 minutes five to ten minutes somewhere along those lines because i did have to go to the bathroom but then i had to take care of something and i inadvertently like i don't want to say inadvertently but i was posting or showing the game on amazon prime and it was copyrighted copyrighted material of course but i didn't mean to do it like that because the whole purpose of me streaming was me basically talking and co commenting about all the plays that were going on at that point um but with that i'll leave it at that anyways um today it's i'm just going to review a little bit about um I think I talked, if you mentioned, seen all my other videos in the past about BJ's out here in the West Coast called BJ's Brew House. Uh, they have a beer club. I actually am, you know, drinking this one now. It's called the Malt, uh, oops, sorry, Malt Stout. Um, oh, Malt Storm, sorry. It's basically an oatmeal, Belgian style Imperial Oat Stout. Uh, oh, it's Collaboration Rich Ritual Brewing Company. Sorry about that. Ritual Brewing Company. Um, I will say this. It's got an interesting taste. An interesting stout taste. It reminds me of another oatmeal stout that I used to drink. Um, actually, let me take a look. I can't remember who it was. There was a, com there was a company out there. And it was pretty good. I can't remember what it was though. Not totes and oats. I hated that. Ugh. Uh, Mexican coffee, no brim dough, nitro breakfast, nitros from Founders Brewing Company. That's what it was. It was uh, Founders Brewing Company. They were really good. I like their their oatmeal stouts. Um, and they also had a great breakfast stout too. That was good. I love those. Those were I didn't not love, but they were good. They had an interesting aftertaste, put it that way, which I thought was interesting. And this is why I think in this situation with um, the mall storm, it's got an interesting taste as well too. It's like it's similar in that taste with the aftertaste basically. But outside of that, I don't know what the it's a one pinter. It's got 10.1% alcohol level. Oh, wow, okay. That's a really interesting thing. I didn't really think about that. 10.1% alcohol level, which is great. Or, I don't know if it's great, but like depending on what it is, uh, depending on how much have you eaten, of course, which I actually ate a couple of, uh, quite a number of uh, chicken wings. Uh, this is pretty good. But in any case, I will say this. I should review more of my beers from BJ's Brew House for some of their beer clubs. Um, I'm located here in Orange County by Laguna Hills. Uh, and the one by here is actually not that bad. Um, that's the one where I got it from, basically, Laguna Hills one. Am I from Laguna Hills? No. Uh, I'm around the area nearby. Well, not that nearby, actually. It's like a little bit more, I'm more north of it, basically. But in any case, I'm between, basically put it that way, between Laguna Hills and Huntington Beach. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. Anyways, um, the one in Huntington Beach, I've never been to, but this was closer to the one than Huntington Beach for BJ's Brew House. And mind you, I'm from the East Coast. When I heard beer, BJ's, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking of BJ's, like uh, Berkeley and Jensen, you know, wholesale from, you know, the East Coast side of things. But in reality, it turns out this is actually BJ's Brew House. Got the same logo. I'm wondering if they're about the, maybe the same company, but I'm not sure if they are. I'm kind of curious to see if that is the case, but I don't know. But in any case, uh, I will say this. It's got an interesting taste. Uh, it doesn't have that true stout taste that you're thinking of, like, you know, like a Guinness or such. Um, the one thing I do miss was those chocolate stouts. Those are pretty good, though. Those chocolate malt stouts. They have a really good aftertaste. This one, the oatmeal stout... It's. It doesn't remind me of the Founders Oatmeal Stout. It reminds me a little bit more of the Founders Breakfast Stout, 
more than anything else. I think those are closely similar. So if you ever had the founder's breakfast out, it's similar to that. Sorry, I was just trying to look at seeing what's going on here. But outside of that, I would say that's pretty much it. I mean, do I recommend it? Out of tens, out of a rating of one to five, five being the best, I would give it a. Well, the thing is, I just realized this. They collaborate with the Ritual Brewing Company. I'm, I don't know who they are. I'm kind of curious who they are. But if I would have to rate it, I would give it a four. I would give it a four out of five. Um, granted, it's one pint or 9.4 ounces. One pint and 9.4 ounces. Oh, I thought it was a pint. And Okay, so it's one, one pint and 9.4 ounces. Um, I would say I would... Buy this again if I would if I would have the chance I would have buy this if I were you. Oh, it's really good actually. I wish they had another one. But in any case, um, if you are a BJ's Brew uh, Beer Club member, please let me know. I'd love to meet people because like I used to be a beer club in the in the East Coast one time. The one nice thing about being a beer club member is. Used to meet with all these beer club members for you know beer club night or whatever making a beer club night. Um, it was really a pizzeria. It's called Toby's Toby's Public Toby's Public House actually because I keep calling it Ale House, but it's actually Toby's Toby's Public House because the reason why it was it was more of a pizzeria that actually had beer and alcohol. Well, depending where you were, if you were in Brooklyn, it had alcohol. If you're in Soho, it only could sell beer and wine. Um, the beer club was great, and I missed it. They gave you a great mug. I wish I brought my mug with me from New York, but it's, it's a great mug. It's from my parents' place right now, but it was a great mug. You got to decorate it. Well, not entirely sure where you need to decorate it. For me, <laughs> I was the first one, basically, where I put a sticker, uh, the Cobra sticker on there. And then I actually had another stick where it actually to identify me because like these mugs had numbers under underneath them. I'm like, screw this. I'm going to put my bobblehead sticker on there on, underneath it to make it sure that's identifiable of me basically. And it was great. And I, everyone saw that, started copying me. I'm like, all right, not a trendsetter, but I'm like, okay, this is great. I really wish on the, the last day of it, it was great that, or the place was closing down. It was great that some of the Bear Club members and I, we were there last days or th during the last days. And... The the owner wasn't there. I, I really missed the owner. I mean, I don't want to say I was good friends with her, but I was Facebook friends with her. I would always talk to her a lot. And like, it was funny how some of the stuff we were talking about was it was going back and forth. It was pretty funny. But um, on the last day with the bartenders, they had about, they used to have like six to seven uh, um, on draft, on tap. But then they eventually expanded out to like 12. And I started drinking all 12 at one point. I was like, oh, I just like started going in. And like everyone stu started following, uh, following suit at that point, which was great. Now, granted, this is my, my days where I was like, I don't want to say my youth because this is like eight years ago or something like that. But it was pretty fun doing that. And one must realize men don't grow up. They grow old, but they don't grow up. I wish I had a video. Oh, I know there's a video out there some of me doing this or a picture of me doing this basically. How I probably there's a video of me as well, like you know, Bar used to freaking as well too, kissing the Goose Island goose. Sorry, the Goose Island goose, uh, uh, tap, tap head, uh, as well and all that stuff. <laughs> there was some stupid stuff that I've done in the past, and I'm literally surprised I've done some of this stuff. But I was like, eh, whatever. But in any case, uh, I'll say this: if you're a beer, BJ's beer beer club member, love to meet you guys. Would love to discuss and talk and meet up wherever if you're not but if you're in the west coast and there's a bj's brew house nearby you i highly recommend being a beer club member because one the beer itself it pay for pays for the beer and if they, the brew house itself happens to be a brewery as well too you can get the um uh kind of jug i forgot what it's called now uh a growler sorry a growler you can get a growler and they fill it up for free, or not fill it up for free, but they fill it up for like four dollars. It's pretty cheap, actually, for four dollars for whatever beer you want, and that's pretty good. I wish they still did that for all the others, but they can't do that. You have to be an actually. They had to actually have a brewery in the in the facility 
for it to, to fill it up. So because they didn't do that, couldn't do the growler. And it was California land. I'm like, I'm pissed off about that. But in any case, <coughs> it still pays for itself because you get a free pizza, free appetizer, and free pizzuki. And it's great. It pays pretty much pays for itself at this point, honest, quite honestly. So I would do it, basically. If you are a BJ's Brewhouse Beer Club member, you understand. If you're not, I suggest you become one. If you do go there every now and then, if you go there like if you go there at least once every two months, it still pays for itself. Trust me on this. Every two months, you get a large, whatever pizza you want with whatever appetizer you want. And I've gotten the sliders with fries. Uh, as well as Pazuki, so it, it pays for itself. Trust me in this. So if I, if you're not a Beecher's Beer Club member and you go there at least once every two months or once, you know, or even twice a month, it's better to be a Beer Club member. And trust me on this, it worked out in the long run. It pays for itself essentially. But with that, I'll leave it there. Again, if you're a Beecher's Beer Club member, please let me know in the comment section uh, where you're at, what location's at. I would be great to know. Uh, I'm, I don't want to be an ambassador. I mean, if BJ's wants me to be an ambassador, I'd love to be an ambassador as well too. But I'm not an ambassador. I have pushed people to using it, becoming one basically, uh, wherever I'm at. And like when I'm at like uh, you know at, at BJ's, and there's someone that's there, and like they've they're, they've been there for a few moments here and there. I would tell them like if you've been here for a while, like you might as well become a beer club member. It pays for itself basically. And trust me, that's if you buy pizza or you have people coming for pizza pays for itself and they joined at that point which they had a referral program program but they don't but in any case but let me know if you are and it'd be great if we can actually all meet up i would love to meet up with bj beer club members in the socal area uh more specifically in the orange county area more than anything else i'd love to meet up with them and if you know we probably should set up a meetup one of these days at one of the bj's brew house uh in any case, I'll leave it at that. And again, uh, uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section. I do read my comments when I do get notified. I do respond to them when they warrant a response. If you love my videos, love my content, love my channel, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I thank you for that. But with that, I'll leave it at that. And of course, fortunately, as I said, this is going to be delayed. I, I am recording this on September 22nd. Hopefully, you know, when it does get pushed out, um, you guys see it and it's still relevant at that time frame. In any case, I'll leave it at that. Unfiltered, unedited, and of course, unrehearsed. Until next time.